I made the decision at the turn of the year to change my diet because of increasing feed costs. Uh, I wanted to get a handle on exactly how much it was costing me um, to get each litre of milk and try and, uh, try and bring that down. I also felt the cows could perform slightly better, so bringing in Harbro um, made me realise that I could get the extra milk out of the cows that I wanted to get. I was always feeding uh, Harbro minerals and uh, calf pellets and I was using a competitor's um, cake. <laughs> in January I challenged Mamie to make me up a ration that's going to, that was going to reduce my feed costs. Uh, so from there we started by increasing the level of maximum barley in the diet, which is all homegrown, so that uh, in turn brought some of my feed costs down and increased the litres. And then we went on to the Harbro's Opal 18 nut, which again, um, increased the litres which had a good effect on uh, my pence per litre. In the first two to three weeks uh, we've seen an increase in yield of 2.9 litres um, and then the next month we actually went to three times a day milking which we saw an extra increase of another 3.3 litres um, and this in turn has improved our um, pence per litre by three pence. Yes, I was surprised at how well the ration worked as uh, I was surprised how quick the cows went increased in milk. Um, the cows have performed exactly how the rationing programme said they were going to perform. And recently we uh, took the soya and the caustic wheat out of our ration uh, and changed this over with a blend that Mamie formulated herself. And the cows have performed as expected from this. So it's, uh, it's a very, and it's reduced the feed costs, so it's a very impressive uh, tool. Technical support and the advice we get from Harbour is great. Um, we have regular calls and uh, regular meetings. Uh, Mamie comes and walks the cows uh, once a month. We'll speak probably every second day. Um, so if I've ever any questions or problems, she's very quick at getting back to me. So from that point of view, it's excellent. It's also good being able to do the milk monitor because you can compare your figures to where your figures have been over the last two, three months. And also quarterly, we get to compare our figures uh, we other farms doing the same sort of um, stuff as we are doing, so uh, it's, a, it's a good way to benchmark yourself against other farmers. From a health point of view, the cows seem happier and more content. They're lying for longer, chewing the cuds for longer, and this in turn would make me think that their rumen must be functioning correctly. Uh, so the plans for the future is we're investing um, fairly heavily in a young stock rearing unit at the moment. Um, all our Young stock are rear, currently reared off unit, um, but we want to bring them back home to, so we don't need don't need to travel as far to keep an eye on them um, and rear them ourselves. Uh, so that's kind of the big, uh, big long-term future plan at the moment. It's shorter plans is just to try and uh, drive our cost of production down. Um, we've also looking maybe five six years down the line into robotics, uh, try and put as much robotics in the shed as possible uh, to save labour. At the moment we've just purchased a robotics scraper, um, but going forward we'll, we'll be looking at robotic milking and robotic feeding.